When you try to edit an object in Blender, in the edit mode, let us say for this cube, if you want to move this vertex upward, you will take the move tool and pull it in the Z direction. By default, Blender will move only the selected vertex, making a very sharp change. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a smooth changeover in such an edit operation. For that, we have to use a concept called proportional editing. You can enable this option by clicking on this circle button. It works like a toggle switch, you can turn it on and off. Let us first undo the changes that we made. Now, like before, if you move this vertex upward, you will notice that Blender not only moves the selected point, but it also moves the adjacent points in the same direction, resulting into a smooth change in this region. And the area of this region, which is affected by your edit operation, is controlled by this circle called the Influence Circle. You can also change the size of this circle by changing the mouse wheel. If you make the circle bigger, a lot many more vertices will get affected by the move operation, creating a flatter surface. And instead of this, if you use a smaller circle, a limited number of vertices will be affected, resulting into a steep slope. Just now I said that you can change the radius of this influence circle by moving your mouse wheel up or down. But there is a catch. If you simply roll your mouse wheel upward or downward, it will result in a zoom in or zoom out operation. So what you have to do is, first click on any one handle of the gizmo tool, to grab it, and start the move operation. As soon as you start moving, the influence circle will appear. Now, do not lift your finger from the mouse button. Keep the mouse button pressed, and simultaneously move the mouse wheel, to increase or decrease the size of the influence circle. And then, if you drag the mouse, it will affect all the vertex points, lying within this influence circle. The other thing is, you can also change the profile of this editing, or the shape of this affected region, from this little drop-down. For example, if you take the spherical shape, and then, if you take one vertex here, and move it outward, it will create a top, or a valley, like a spherical surface. We have many more options in the profile drop-down. Let us examine them through another object. So, we will first delete this cube. Let us now add a plane object. To edit this plane, we need to have some subdivisions. So, go to the Modifiers tab. Add a modifier called Subdivision Surface. Then, switch over to the simple type. Increase the levels, as per your choice. And finally, apply this modifier. We will now go to the Edit mode. Let us take any one vertex on the surface of this plane, which we will pull up, using the Move tool. You can see, the entire plane is bending upward, because we have a large influence circle. Instead, if you reduce the size of this influence circle, and then move the vertex, it will impact only a limited number of points in the adjacent area. That was a spherical profile. Let us select a different one, maybe the last one, which is a random profile. Now if you pull the target vertex upward, you will see that the adjacent vertex points are moving proportionally, but the movement is randomly distributed, it does not follow any specific smoothing curve. You can create a hilly area or a mountain with this. And if you take the smooth profile and move this vertex upward, it will create an elliptical plateau or a smooth deformation. Just like before, you can control the slope of this bulge by changing the size of the influence circle. In this way, using the proportional editing, you can create a smooth curved surface, or you can edit any object very smoothly, which will otherwise take many hours if you try to do it manually. This proportional editing has more uses in the object mode as well. We will look at that in our next video. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.